We've covered several MCU projects already on the channel, including Captain America the First Avenger. Is it better or worse than that film? Let's find out in just a second, but before we jump right into it, hit the like button and comment down below what your thoughts are on this movie, and let's check this film out. <laughs> So Captain America and the Winter Soldier for me was a great way of elevating the Captain America franchise in the MCU to a whole new level. With the introduction of the Falcon and with new storylines, I think this movie was just a fantastic uh, building block in the MCU moving forward in Phase 2 especially. I think from the infiltration of S.H.I.E.L.D. via Hydra, that was such a uh, big blockbuster thing that happened in this movie as well as the stuff that went down with Nick Fury and the Winter Soldier thing itself was absolutely fantastic and seeing Chris Evans work with Scarlett Johansson as Captain America and Black Widow was fantastic as well those two characters building together and the character development that followed with those two. I think this movie is really, really big and such a great building block for the future of the MCU and many people don't realise how important this movie is and maybe people do, I don't know. But for me, I think the main talking point first is the Winter Soldier. The Winter Soldier was such a great villain and for me, the thing that is still talked about to this day because I think the, the evolution from Bucky Barnes in the first Avenger to the main assassin killer that he becomes in this particular film, there was a destroyer, a great villain, and just a, just seems like a, a soulless person who basically is being controlled by the Hydra infiltrated shield and he just gets used to kill off anybody they don't like or anybody that they want killing off. They use the Winter Soldier who's sort of like this sort of urban legend, this myth if you like, and has earned himself like a reputation over the years since Captain America was under the ice of what sort of things he does and when Bucky Barnes as the Winter Soldier meets Captain America it's a bit of a weird sort of interaction because it's like they should know each other and Captain America recognises him there's no connection there because Bucky Barnes had his memory wiped after every task that he does but to me I think the Winter Soldier arc in this film was fantastic as well as that though we saw the Nick Fury stuff in which was so important and so integral for the later storylines it's it's unbelievable how MCU managed to plan this stuff so far back and so in advance because we see Nick Fury potentially being killed off in this movie and then revealed to have just faked his death because the, he became very synonymous and very big uh, if you like and he became a big target for a lot of hate and being killed it was that sort of thing however after his faking of his death that leads him on a on a path with the secret invasion stuff later down the line the infinity war endgame stuff and everything that plays out from this point on is is crucial and obviously the new shield versus the old shield part at the end of the film that wouldn't have been created without Fury's potential death in which was great and yeah I think those little storylines really help build this movie into being a great film as it's not just a clear thread of a storyline like most films are it's built across little little plot lines here and there that help create such a great film and that's what sometimes it needs it might be a bit confusing in part but when it comes together you get the biggest picture possible and that's where well that's how i would describe this film also from this particular movie we saw the spin-off of the falcon and the winter soldier in which obviously we saw the the falcon being introduced into this film which is fantastic and funny enough the Winter Soldier became quite a big character in this particular film. So it was quite interesting to see these two characters in the same film because they end up having a TV show together later on, I think in phase four. But yeah, they end up going into that and that creates another storyline. And from that, it, it, it just spirals into something else. And that is fantastic as well. And obviously we now know that the Falcon is going to be the next Captain America. And from that, we're seeing the building blocks in this particular film of him. So I'm learning off Captain America, how he trains and stuff like that. And seeing the type of person he is and getting to know him as like a best friend level sort of character. And the character development that we see in between this film 
and we're seeing in civil war and everything like that they get closer and closer together as buddies and then they fight with each other in civil war like they did in this film and i think that's crucial into the whole telling of this story amongst several different films and him then becoming a leadership sort of role like we saw with captain america but yeah, I think there's so much great stuff that comes out of this film. And obviously, with Scarlett Johansson's character as well, working with Chris Evans, I think was fantastic. I think their character development was fantastic as being close best friends as well. But I think like th there's a genuine connection there. And I think you can definitely see that on screen and the character development was fantastic. I felt another thing that was interesting was obviously the ending of Old Shield vs New Shield. I thought that was a great finale for the entire film as well obviously seeing new shield come out on top however revealing all the secrets of all the agents and all the people that work for shield in which is obviously not good for half of the people that work there let's be honest and that would obviously go on to later projects and how different things are coming out about most of the great superheroes from the avengers film but yeah i think that is very interesting and was a huge building block for the future of the mcu also seeing elizabeth olsen taking on the mantle of wanda in the end credit scene for this film alongside her brother in which was fantastic because that builds up to age of ultron really really nicely and was really really sort of like a strong way to to tease you for what's coming up in a very cool way and obviously mcu is used to doing that let's be honest so to summarize for me the captain america and the winter soldier film is brilliant and i enjoy it hence why i rate this movie a 7.3 out of 10 and a world-class film so let me know your thoughts is it great is it bad is it terrible is it really really bad let us know all that jazz down in the comments down below and if you haven't done so already hit the like button hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and i shall see you fine folks in the next one Later.